What's up everybody? It's Travis here from Travis.media. So today's video is going to be pretty short. I just wanted to update you about a new course that I'm releasing. So about two weeks ago, I published a YouTube video where we built out a smart contract for a bike rental application. And I mentioned in that video that in about two weeks, I was going to release the full course. And that includes the entire front end of the application, hooking it up to our deployed smart contract on the Binance Smart Chain testnet and all of that good stuff. Well, I've been working hard the past two weeks and I'm done and the course went live today. So I'm going to play the intro video here just so you can get an overview of the project and a look at the final application and the things you'll be learning. And if it interests you, then you can go pick it up. It's live today. So if you're looking for a solid Web3 project for your portfolio, or just looking at learning how the whole process works, how decentralized apps are built, then be sure to check it out. Here's the video. Hello everyone, and welcome to my course. In this course, we're gonna be building a decentralized bike rental application on the Binance Smart Chain testnet. We're gonna start off by coding a smart contract and putting all of that logic together. Then we're gonna deploy it out to the Binance Smart Chain testnet. Next, we'll build out our UI. So we're going to be using React. We're going to be building a home page and a dashboard page. And then finally, we're going to connect that front end with our deployed smart contract so that we can interact with the blockchain and make transactions and pool data and all of that good stuff. And sometimes it's just better to see it in action. So here's a look at the final application and an explanation of how it works. Okay, so here's the application. So imagine that you have a lot of bike trails in the downtown area and you buy a little office space and put a bunch of bikes in it and set up a bike rental business. But instead of accepting cash or debit card or whatever, you're going to accept BNB. So if I wanted to come in there and rent a bike, I would come to this app. If this was my first time, I would first connect my wallet. So click connect wallet and connect your wallet. And then I'd click choose my bike. And here we have a form. It says, welcome, please enter your first and last name to register. So you have to register yourself as a renter on the smart contract to check out bikes. So I'm just going to put Travis test and hit submit. Then I'll confirm the transaction in MetaMask. And by the way, look at these low gas fees. This is like 20 cent. So confirm. And once this is done, it's going to display my dashboard because I'll then be a renter on the smart contract. So it says, welcome, Travis, or whatever your first name is. Here are your stats. So there's BNB credit. So I can add credit to my account. My amount due. My amount of ride minutes, if I check a bike out. And my bike status. Currently, it's red, which means I don't have any bike checked out. Now we have two forms, one to credit your account, one to pay your due, and we have three bikes to choose from. And I can come down here and check out a bike and check back in a bike. So let's go ahead and credit our account. I'm gonna add in 0.2 BNB to credit my account. So my total is 0.2 with some minimal gas fees. So hit confirm. And when this transaction completes, I'm going to have 0.2 BNB credit. So now I'm ready to check out my bike. I have some credit in here. And I want to check out, let's say I want to check out this middle bike. So click check out. And confirm that. And what's going to happen here is my bike status is going to turn green, which means I have a bike checked out currently. And my ride minutes will start to total up and I'll be able to take my bike out for a ride. And we're still pending. There we go. My bike status is green. The bike is free to take out for a stroll. So I'm going to come back in about seven or eight minutes and we'll check the bike back in and I'll show you the rest of the app. Okay, so it's been about eight minutes. So let's check the bike back in. So I'm going to come down here and click check in. and confirm the transaction. Now what's gonna happen is my bike status will go back to red, which means it's not checked out. My BNB due will be totaled up and my ride minutes will total as well. So my bike status is red, my BNB due, I have 0.005 BNB 
and my ride minutes are at eight. So now I can pay my BNB due, 0 0.005 BNB, and click Submit. Confirm that. And now once I pay my balance, this is gonna go to zero, my ride minutes will go to zero, and my bike status will be back, and I'll actually be able to check out a bike again. Because if you have a balance, you're not able to check out a bike. Because you gotta pay your balance. And that kind of keeps the owner free from having to chase people down. This is a way that the owner doesn't have to be super involved with his customers. He just needs to provide the bike because if you don't pay your balance, you can't check out another bike. Now on our smart contract, we also have a lot of checks in place to make sure renters don't do things they shouldn't like trying to pay my due when I don't have a due amount. So if I click submit, it should throw an error. I should have an error slide in up here giving me some kind of error message. Yeah, execution reverted. You do not have anything due at this time. If I try to do something else, like check in a bike that I never checked out, I should also get a message. Please check out a bike first. And that's basically the gist of the application. In addition to this, at the very end of the course, there's a bonus lesson where we build out an owner's dashboard. And on this dashboard, it's gonna show the total amount of the contract, the amount that's the owner's, and a button that gives the ability for the owner to withdraw his amount. Now you may be wondering, how does an owner make money off of this? So if someone comes in here and uh, credits their account with $10, it actually credits the smart contract with $10, but that $10 is allotted to them. So when they pay their due, it actually comes out of their credit, and that amount that they pay actually becomes the owner's. So every time somebody pays their amount due, that transfers over to the owner. So we'll be creating at the end, as a bonus, an owner's dashboard where they can actually view that amount and withdraw that amount. So I had a lot of fun building this and I know you will too. So who should take this course? We'll see if any of these scenarios appeal to you. Number one, maybe you're looking for a solid Web3 project to add to your portfolio. So maybe you're learning blockchain development and you want to land that job and get into that industry, but you need some solid projects to add to your portfolio. Then this course is for you. Maybe you've done blockchain development with Ethereum or on the Ethereum virtual machine and you're wondering how it works with BNB or how you can use BNB in Remix or how you deploy to the BSC testnet. Then you'll find this course beneficial. Or maybe you just want the whole package. You want to learn how to create a smart contract, how to deploy it, and how to interact with it from a library like React. Or maybe you're interested in seeing how we can display Solidity errors on the front end to let our user know when they've made a mistake. Or maybe you're just interested in how an application like this would provide sustainable income for the owner. If any of these appeal to you, then I think you're in the right place. Now, there are a couple of prerequisites. Uh, number one, you should have base web development knowledge. So you should probably have learned HTML and CSS and have built a couple of easy web pages. Number two, you should have a base understanding of JavaScript and React. So we're gonna be using React in this course and that's gonna be expected. It's not gonna be crazy, like we're not gonna be using Redux and have all this elaborate stuff. We're gonna to try to keep it simple, but you should still have that base knowledge. And then finally, you should have an understanding of the blockchain and how it works, which I assume you do, or you wouldn't be here. And as far as Solidity goes, you don't have to know Solidity to take this course because I have an optional lesson with a Solidity primer in it to get you up to speed if you don't know it. So I think you'll have as much fun as I did building this app. So let's get started.